So I did a video a few months ago on the state of the DCEU and I thought I would revisit it since I've seen another movie or a couple more movies, I guess maybe just one, and another one was released. So this is all of the movies that have been released in the DCEU. Um, there's other movies like The Joker and The Batman that are not considered part of the DCEU, so I won't talk about those. Um, but this is a decade of movies and... Uh, you know, everyone is going to compare it to what Marvel's doing, and in comparison, it's not good. Um, I saw, I started seeing some real criticisms way back in Batman versus Superman. Uh, people didn't like the Snyderverse. Lots of people did. I liked the, the, the Snyderverse. But there were other people who did not like it, did not like just Zack Snyder's directing style. Um, and I kind of defended it because I thought that Batman versus Superman had more good than bad in it and um, but as time went on and, and Suicide Squad came out horrible Wonder Woman came out great Justice League came out this was where it kind of fell off the cliff for me I thought it was just awful and um, you know the thing is that a lot of the fans of the DCEU they get very offended when you criticize uh, the movies, and um, I, I, th I think it was a combination of uh, they legitimately believed that they were good movies, and also that they wanted it to succeed so much that they felt the criticism was ruining its chances. Um, Aquaman made over a billion dollars. I didn't think much of it. Shazam, I thought was very good. Birds of Prey was horrendous. Wonder Woman 1984, I never saw. Because as much as I liked the first movie, I heard it was awful. And I, I've seen the plot. I've watched long videos on it. And I thought it was terrible. All right, it looked terrible. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League was significantly better than the theatrical release. The next Suicide Squad was fantastic. I loved it. Uh, maybe my favorite of all the DCE movies didn't do that well at the box office. Uh, not compared to the first Suicide Squad movie. Black Adam was a disappointment. Shazam! Fury of the Gods I talked about the other day. I did not like it. It is a bomb. An absolute bomb. The Flash um, is definitely underperforming. Um, and uh, that one, I, I have to say that, uh, that that is like kind of maybe the nail in the coffin because... <sighs> They had a lot of expectations for that, and uh, the thing with The Flash, let me go into there real quick, um, it had some real good buzz. Now, there's the box office, $268 million on $200, $220 million. They generally say that the uh, advertisement is about $100 million, so that's a, uh, a uh, money loser. Now, who knows, with, with streaming and with other things, um, it probably will make money at the end of the day. But why did it fail? Um, I mean, its star, Ezra Miller, is a terrible human being. <laughs> I've talked about that before. I don't know that that was what hurt it because generally, like, I, I'll sit there and not go to a movie because of who is in it, the actor or actress, if they are just terrible people. But I think most people don't care but it's possible but i think the problem the bigger problem is that when the dceu is now being seen as second rate movies when you have black adam when you have one woman 1984 birds of prey things like this people watch them and they're like I, it's all part of the dceu and now they're like i don't want to see anything with the dceu and it was kind of like that with me with shazam fury of the gods where they had had, and I didn't watch Black Adam in the in the theater. I didn't pay for it. Um, I watched it on a streaming service for free. It was okay. It was not bad, but they're creating such a negative negativity. Uh, they canceled the Batman or Batgirl movie, and a lot of people were complaining because they were already into post production. They would sunk a lot of money into that, and I'd heard people say, "Well, it's, you're you're canceling it because." The lead actress, Batgirl, is Hispanic. Well, why would DC do that? Why would Warner Brothers create the movie and then cancel it 
because of the ethnicity of the star. That doesn't make the least bit of sense. Uh, my guess is that it was just, they looked at it, somebody looked at it and said, we cannot release this. And that makes perfect sense because things like Birds of Prey, Wonder Woman 1984, they make people not want to watch movies in the DCEU. I loved the first Wonder Woman movie. I saw that in the theaters, enjoyed it tremendously. And yet I didn't go see, I've never seen Wonder Woman 1984 because it got such bad buzz. And then it creates just a negative vibe through the whole DCEU and people's interest in it. And uh, people can defend the DCEU all they want, but at the end of the day, these... Okay, here's, here's what's coming out. Blue Beetle and Aquaman, The Lost Kingdom. That's it. I saw the preview for the trailer for Blue Beetle. Um, if it had come out 15 years ago, I probably would have been blown away. Now I look at it and I'm like, okay, it looks like every other superhero trailer. And I don't think that many people care about the Blue Beetle. I've got Blue Beetle go comics going back to the 1960s. Do I care to watch the movie? Not really. Am I going to see in the theaters? No. I, I have no interest in watching Blue Beetle in the theaters. Um, Aquaman, The Lost Kingdom. I didn't like the first Aquaman movie. So why would I want to watch the second one? I, I own I own the Aquaman on uh, uh, Blu-ray or 4K or something like that. I never even finished it because I got so bored of all the CGI and, and, and junk and stuff like that. Uh, you look at the, the number of canceled movies. It's unbelievable how many canceled movies there are. And I don't think you're ever going to see um, Black Adam versus Shazam, the, the big build up that they were they were going for um i don't know what the solution is to this let me let me look at one thing cuz the snyder verse is dead that's not going to happen anymore so if people are fans of the snyder verse um so then you have james gunn now supposedly james gunn has taken over is he going to create something better i i love james gunn's movie i can't, I, I thought that the suicide squad that he directed was fantastic um now you look at the gross, it made $168 million on a $185 billion, million dollar budget. That's kind of a bomb, even though the movie was so good. And uh, so why is that? I, I think because people didn't want to see another Suicide Squad movie. People who are not as uh, knowledgeable of, as myself didn't realize that it was a, a new, uh, almost all new cast, new director, um, new writing, and they just saw the negativity from the first one, saw the DCEU and said, ah, forget it. Uh, let's see. So a critical response at 90% on Rotten Tomatoes with James Gunn, who had so much success with, with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, could not even break $200 million on a – couldn't even break $170 million on a $185 million budget. That's terrible, even even though it was a really good movie. And this is what's happening. The DCEU is burying itself deeper and deeper with these movies. And, you know, you, you can't just look at them in isolation and say, well, this movie wasn't good, but we got other good movies. The, the Marvel Universe, they've had some bad movies too, but they have a lot more good than bad. And so they can get away with a few clunkers here and there. But when you've got, going back to, to two, well, to, Okay, 2020. So just the last three years, garbage, garbage, uh, good, but never a theatrical release. Great movie, completely underperformed, mediocre, garbage. I don't know. I've never watched The Flash. i probably watch it one day, but um, the reviews weren't that great. But certainly the, the box office gross was very disappointing. So why would people be interested in it? And I'm a big DC fan. Anyone who watches my channel can see that, you know, when I buy my Mezco figures, I'm always buying DC figures. When I talk about comics, I'm talking about DC comics. But this is this is not good. They they have to somehow, and this has been going on a long time. We're talking 2013, the first movie, a decade, and they can't seem to. And it's not just bad; it's getting worse. It seems to be getting worse because at least here, I thought this was good. This was good. Trash good 
trash. So see, the first four movies, I thought three out of the first four were either good or great. And then things just keep getting worse and worse. They keep talking about we got to get this uh, back, get the oars back in the water. And they, it's just getting worse and worse. Um, so we'll see what James Gunn can do. Unfortunately, he's going to have to change moviegoers' perception because right now I think the DCEU is is just looking looking bad. And so uh, it maybe isn't having the effect on the... I, I think it is still having an effect, but less of an effect on movies that just aren't in the DCEU, like the um, the Batman and the, and the Joker. But uh, maybe just quit with the extended universe just give up and start making standalone movies and uh try for the best there because this is just not working anyway that's my current take on the dceu